Surely it is not I, Rabbi. You have said so. This passage we hear today, we also heard on Sunday as that first reading from Isaiah. But we take this day, often called Spy Wednesday, as a lifting out, a pericope of that whole passion story we heard on Sunday from the Gospel of Matthew. And we look at this one segment, this one focus on Judas, where the part that's lifted out for us today begins with his being willing to sell out Jesus, and it ends with his ultimate denial, knowing within what he had done, and still standing, sitting beside Jesus with those words, it isn't, it isn't I. This concept of betrayal is one that we, I think, always need to be attentive to in our own lives. But when Jesus says, one of you will betray me, all of the disciples of the apostles start saying, oh, it's not me, right? This sense of, of questioning. They look inward, at least. They ask themselves the question. That betrayal can be subtle. Often we think of it as something we do blatantly in the face of someone, as Judas taking 30 pieces of silver. But we can betray the Lord Jesus every time we refuse to acknowledge people who are suffering around us in our world. We can betray the Lord God who created this beautiful universe we live in every time we trash it or fail to take action to preserve it or to care for it. We can betray our loving God and Creator every time we say harsh words to one another, not only to our loved ones, but to those we meet, those we talk to, those we talk about. There are countless ways we can betray the God who has entrusted this world to us as his children and for us to care for one another as brothers and sisters. And so this Spy Wednesday is a good time to spy into our own lives in this final day of Lent before we enter into the sacred trinity to see how have we slipped into ways of betrayal. One of the worst forms or deepest hurts in betrayal is when we betray the innocent, when we betray one who has given freely to us. That first reading of Isaiah, this one who has turned in innocence to the people and yet has been struck and beaten. We too look inwardly, individually, as people, to determine, is it I, Lord, and where I can see and answer that yes, to seek God's forgiveness, to bring forth change in our lives. 